G'day everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to my series on learning to play tribal. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we put together a war band. It's a very, very simple process. Now the game, like many little skirmish games, uses you know, a currency to recruit your force. And in tribal, the currency is called honor. The whole game relates around honor. The person with the most honor at the end of the game wins, um, honor is used to uh, recruit your warband. It's exchanged back and forward between you and the other player when you win and lose combat, when you achieve uh, scenario objectives or deny somebody else an objective based on the scenario that you've either concocted or from the rulebook, etc. So in this game, we use honor. Now, most of the scenarios in the rulebook generally start with 15 honor points. And it breaks that down into how much of that you can spend on recruiting a warband or a tribe, how much of that you can spend on skills and upgrading those units that you recruit into your tribe, and how much and, 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 and sort of the balance left over being what you retain in your hand to use during the game. Um, so you're not going to be able to spend all your honor on recruiting a warband. And you know, as we learn to play the game, you'll understand why. You know, as soon as somebody has no honor points at any point during the game, they've lost. So you want to make sure that you've got some in your hand at the start of the game, so that you can, you know, you've got some to, you know, win and lose with, etc. So on the table, I've got here my Asaro Mudmen. Uh, these are produced by Knights of Dice. Currently, at this point, at time of filming, out of production, but we're just in the process of creating new molds for twenty new sculpts of these. So they'll be available for sale soon. Um, I've got here, and if you saw in the previous videos, a unit of five warriors, a unit of five warriors, uh, a champion, and a champion, and a chief. Sometimes I call the champions heroes. I think in the book they're called heroes. I will use that term interchangeably, um, heroes or champions. Um, they are the three types of characters you can recruit into your warband. A chief, a champion slash hero, or a warrior. Champions always come as an individual guy, which is why I mount mine on a 30 mil base. It just helps differentiate them from the warriors, which come as a unit of five guys, and I mount mine on 25 mil bases. When I recruit a hero into my warband, or into my tribe, it costs me one honor point. So on the table, I've got two heroes, which are costing me two honor point. Now, most of the scenarios will determine that you can spend between sort of four and six or three and five or, you know, some such, you know, uh, bracketed range of uh, honor on recruiting your warband. Excuse me. Um, so in this case, so far, I've spent two honor points. My chief, who I normally mount on a 40 mil base, I normally put two guys on my bases just to, you know, help them stand out. You don't need to. It doesn't do anything in the game. It just makes them look cool. The chief is always free. So I've got a free chief, one champion, two champions, and two units. Now when you recruit units of warriors into your warband, they come as a group of five warriors. And each of those groups cost one on a point. So we'll put those down here on the table. So I've got here a four point tribe for tribal. Again, keeping in mind you can spend four to six points, generally on average. So you can see, even if I recruited in another two units of warriors, and you know, I had here, you know, two more units, I'm still gonna have five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23 figures in my tribe. You don't need a lot of figures to play this game. Now, assembling the warband is that simple. When it comes to warriors um, and champions, you get a choice of weapons. There's either long weapons, short weapons, or missile weapons. In this case here on the table, I've got a unit here armed with like clubs and short weapons and another unit here armed with spears, so they're long weapons. This champion has a long weapon, let's stick him on this side, and a champion with a short weapon. And then my uh, chief, this guy's got a long weapon as well. I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to check and maybe I'll clarify in the next video if chiefs have long or short weapons. Not entirely sure, I'll have to double check that point. But when you recruit warriors into your warband, they're either gonna have a long, short uh, weapon or a ranged weapon. Now, I don't normally use ranged weapons. I might add one to this group just so I've got a unit of five guys with bows, um, but they're the type of weapons that you use. It doesn't matter if it's a, uh, a, a sword or a club or a, 
axe or a hatchet or whatever. Anything that is a short weapon is a short weapon. Anything that is long, a spear, a, you know, a pole axe, a javelin, um, anything that's long is a long weapon. The, the game doesn't differentiate between the different types of weapons. It doesn't matter, at least for the core rules, if you have shields or armor or anything like that. That will all come later on when we talk about more advanced rules and some of the specific rules related to different sorts of cultural tribes. Um, but for the core game, it's just those three types of weapons. You pick those for your models and you recruit them into your warband. They all cost the same points, but you know there are differences in how they're used during the game. That's it, it's that simple. I start generally with 15 honor points. I get to spend four to six of that on recruiting my units. And you know the scenario will determine you know it's between zero and four or zero and six or whatever on upgrading and adding skills to those units. And we'll talk about skills further down the track once we've gone through all the core mechanics learned to play the game. Then we'll start introducing some of the cool, uh, you know, extra stuff or you know the advanced section of the rule book, um, the skills section, dirty tricks, you know, card pulls, you know, the men of honor, um, special rule, um, all that sort of stuff will come later. But in terms of recruiting a warband or a tribe for tribal, it's very, very easy. So recruiting your warband or your tribe for tribal is incredibly simple. I hope the video has been useful. I hope you're enjoying this short series on how to play tribal. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the description or in the comment section below. In the description will be links off to Mana Press and Tribal and you know, a whole bunch of other places on the interwebs where you can get some more information about this wonderful, awesome game. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.